it was outstanding, man. Outstanding. Greg? Yeah, I, for me too. It was uh, it was an amazing experience going through it with these guys. We had a really close knit group of guys that competed. And, you know, the funny thing is for me, the hardest thing about it, all the pressure was to get to the Final Four for us. I mean, once we got to the championship game, that was the most relaxed I had felt all season long. And I felt that way because of this group of guys. I mean, I played with some of the greatest players on the collegiate level that have ever played, and it was, a, it was an honor to be a part of it. Anderson? Well, playing with these guys, it was, it was just one of them experiences you would never experience with anybody else. You know, whether you make it to the NBA or go overseas, you know, what we did, um, I hope they get back to that level, but it, it might be tough. Blair? Greatest experience of my career, period. That's saying a lot. Greatest experience <laughs> of my career. Considering what you did as a Greatest player. experience of my career. Yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> David, playing, playing with a, a group of guys uh, back in 1990, it was one of the best times of my life. Uh, if you look at it, Everybody watched the uh, UNLV Running Rebels, and everybody from the inner city, we was role models to everybody. Back in D.C., we had a prison called Lawton, and the Wharton would have to keep the TVs on <laughs> late hours just so they can watch the Running Rebels. <laughs> and this is a true story. And I still run into people today, and they say, oh, Dave, when I was inside, I used to watch the games. And, and I just laugh and say, man, but... We was role models to all the inner city kids. That's and right. I mean, far as uh, just looking back, Coach Tar Tarkanian was one of the best coaches I ever played for. I mean, I had a good junior college coach and everything. And when Coach Tarkanian came to recruit me out of San Jacinto, I totally underestimated this guy. <laughs> when he walked in and they was like, that's the coach from Las Vegas, the Ronnie Rose coach. And I just look and say, this guy don't look much of a coach. He don't, he don't look like a coach at all. You know, because I was used to the assistant coaches coming down to, to watch the games. And at that time, Moses Scurry was on the junior college team with me, San Jacinto. And he was scheduled to go to St. John's. And for whatever reason, he said, hey, Dave, you think that you can talk to the coach and get me to come to UNLV Running Rebels? And once coach found out, it was like he hit the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I called Moses, and Moses was scheduled for a visit to our place, and we played a Russian national team that, that beat our Olympic team that, uh, that year. It was a year that they upset our Olympic team. They played us in Vegas, and we killed them. We killed the Russian national team, and the game was televised, and Moses loved the light show. He called me afterwards. He said, Coach, he said, I don't want to even visit. Send me the letter for the <laughs> Moses side without even visiting because he loved the light show. We'll get a final thought from you, Coach, in a moment, Dave. I think people talk about the national championship being the crowning achievement, and obviously we're really, really proud of that. But 20 years after the fact, I think that what we all remember, we're all from, we're all from different backgrounds, was the camaraderie of our team, how close-knit we were, how hard we worked, and just the environment that Coach Tark and his staff established. And it was just an environment that was 100% conducive to success, and that's what we had, and we had fun doing it, and we all did it together, and we all knew our roles, and because of that, we won a national championship. The legend Jerry Tarkanian, your final thoughts about this group of guys in that 1990 team? Well, certainly it was a highlight of my career. The most painful loss I ever had was the next year when we lost that game to Duke. But we always felt that for us to win a national championship, we had to win big. If, if we let the game come down to the end, we weren't going to get the call. And, you know, we, we first year we went to Final Four in, in 77, we got beat by Carolina by one point. And, they shot 29 free, they made 29 free throws, we made five. And then, so we always felt for us to win, we, we can't let the game come down to, to a key call at the end of the ball game. And, and uh, we certainly did that in the Duke game. We, we just got out on the roll and kept it going. It, it was a highlight. Just being around these guys was a highlight for me because I've never been around such an unselfish group of guys who worked so hard. And every day in practice, they would come to work. And I've said this before, 
in my whole career, I have never seen Larry Johnson look at a stat sheet. And that, that rubs off on a team. Usually guys get in the locker room after a game, first thing they want to see is stat sheet, how many points they got, how many rebounds they got. In two years, I've never seen Larry look at a stat sheet. He didn't care whether we, whether he had 20 points or five points. If we won the game, he's happier than that. We lost the game, he's down in the dumps. And th that type of thing just spreads throughout the whole ball club, and that's the way this team was. They were so unselfish. I think we led the nation with 57% field goal percentage. And I've said this many, many times. The only great shooter, the only pure shooter on a team was Anderson Hunt. You look at the other four guys, they weren't real good shooters. I'd hold my breath. What do you breath. mean? What about? I'd hold my breath. <laughs> I'd hold my breath when they take an outside shot. Well, guy, Moses Scurry, Greg Anthony, Anderson Hunt, Larry Johnson, David Butler, Dave Rice, and, of course, Jerry Tarkanian. This has been a great gathering and a great reflective look back on the 1990 championship season. Guys, thanks for joining us today. It's been really fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.